good morning. It's kind of overcast. We had a pretty good storm roll in last night. But today I wanted to share with you probably the nicest RV resort I've ever been in. My wife, the fantasy goddess, says that this place is nicer than Disney, and we've been there a couple times. Wow, that's that's saying something, but honestly, it's true. Uh, this is Lake Greenwood Motor Coach Resort. It is only for Class A's and Super C's. Um, so if you have a Class A or a Super C, or if you wanted to rent uh, a spot that somebody would leave their Class C on to let you use, this place is flipping amazing so i wanted to just kind of give you a campground review of it uh, let you kind of see the layout um, and so what we're going to do rather than start in the entrance which is where i guess they all start i'm going to start down here on the dock because it's on the lake right and it has two big really nice docks and uh, so i'm gonna get my face off here and we're just going to kind of walk around uh, we've got g-dog with us glory bell Miss Glory, she is going to uh, do the campground review with us today, but here is one of the docks. There is my boat, the Fear Not, um, little 16 foot skiff. And there's the second dock over there. And if you look up, you can see the resort. And the cool thing is on a map, it's flat, but there's this is actually terraced. So there's not too many sites with a bad view. Uh, we got, I think, one of the primo spots, so we'll kind of walk up and take a look at that, too, if you're going to rent and come in. But let's kind of take a walk. <laughs> now, this area right here is kind of a seawall area, and uh, I'm told that uh, just off of one of these balconies about uh, 40 yards out is a nice hole where there's a lot of bass. I caught a bass right between both of these docks, so there's a pretty good area to bank fish right here. Um, Catherine caught a couple of brim underneath that dock. Uh, just, just some good fishing. Lake Greenwood is known for its crappy fishing, uh, but there's also bass and uh, shell cracker and all sorts of different fish in here. Here's the boat ramp for the resort. So if you bring your boat, uh, you can you can unload your boat right here, which is again, right at the dock. And then there are these sites that are right on the water. Here's the Super C that's right there. And right there is the spot that we rented for, for the week. There's a little dog walking area down here. All right, so behind all of this wonderfully lush vegetation, is the Holy Roller. You can see it's got this deck on it. So we'll kind of walk up the hill here. Now you can see back through the resort there, you can see all the different motor coaches, class A's that are there, and they all have a view of that because of the change in elevation. So here is site 36. This is what the site that we rented for the week. It not only has the site on it, but it also has an attached deck. So we brought the paddle boards. It has a seating area outside with a fire pit, an outside table and chairs with a canopy. Also paddle boards, outside electrical outlet, and kind of where we put some stuff in that's basically like the owner's closet. But as you can see, when we get up in the morning and we look out the windows, that's the view. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so restarting at site 36 here, we're gonna kind of take a walk around the campground. There are two roads that kind of go from one side to the other, and there are some spots that are on both sides there. I can't wait to show you some of the stuff that each owner has done. Each owner, each person owns these spots. Matter of fact, this spot right here, site 38, as of right now in 2022 is for sale for the low, low price of $225,000. And it's got an outside seating area with a TV, owner's area, outside kitchen, Blackstone grill, sink, seating area, also a fire pit. And that's their view when they 
get up in the morning. So you can see each individual owner kind of does their own flavor. They own the site or the lot, so they can do certain things that they want to do, including adding awnings or decks or gazebos, fire pits, that kind of stuff. Some have this kind of stuff and some don't. So as we walk through, you can kind of see the site numbers and see what they include. We're gonna get some dogs barking here in a minute because there's a beagle, oh, and a bunny rabbit. Heel. Heel. We're going to take a look at the pool and the clubhouse. We'll take a look at the clubhouse second. Let's kind of walk around and look at the pool. All right, so in the pool area is a stove, an ice maker, sink, all sorts of different stuff. Obviously, chairs and stuff. Hot tub that right now has a cover on it, and then the pool, which is closed for the winter, although the pool is heated. So, and from the pool, check out that view. Isn't that just gorgeous? All right, so we're back here at the lodge on the outside, and so now we're gonna walk in and kind of take a look at all the stuff that's inside the lodge. So, some workout area. Over here is another sink. Just some inside stuff and places to play games and have cookouts and stuff. There's another den that's in here. You can see the pool is out there. Here's the den with another sink area and a TV to watch TV in. Over here's the library where you can check out books and read and then bring them back. Inside bathrooms that are super clean. And then on the other side over here is an exit on this side. The only parking here is for golf cart, uh, or I guess if you rode your bike, uh, you could come over here. Okay, so that does it for the inside of the lodge. Let's keep walking around the campground and take a look at some more stuff. All right, so up here you can see the coaches that are up there and you can see the balconies that they have on each site so that when you're outside of your coach in an outside space, you actually still have that view back to the lake. Here's another street that goes up to the top of the street up there. As of right now, there's a lot of spaces up here that are for sale, either for sale by the owner or for sale still by the developer you can get a list of those on their website. All right, up here at the top of the hill is where the entrance is. You'll notice across the, hall, across the entrance over there is the main office. I think that's where the real estate office may be. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so walking in now from the entrance we'll turn right and we'll go around the top loop here but I also want to stop and show you a couple of different spots there's spot six and seven and right here between spots eight and nine is the dog park where you can take your pups put them off of a leash let them run around let them play with other dogs here in the community. They actually have a real fire hydrant. Uh -huh. To see where you are, you can see the office there just across the road. And continue our walk around the top of the hill. There's a couple of these sites that are for sale. Site 11, I think it's site 12 is as well. There's a lot of people, if you read the reviews on this resort, you'll see people came to visit and then they ended up buying a place because it really is that nice. Now again, here's an example of someone who took their spot, added a, an outside cooking a station, a gazebo, that kind of stuff. 
all the spots are full hookup, including water, sewer, and power, obviously. They do not have cable TV here. So if you want to watch some of that kind of stuff, you probably need to bring a satellite dish or some kind of a streaming stick. The Wi-Fi here is not the best. We can't get it at all at our site, but I'm assuming that up here it's probably better. I have not looked to find where the transmitters are. This is that first road that goes from this top part down to the bottom, and down there you can see that's the pool house that we just were at. Now we start to get up here on top of the hill and these are where some of the views are just amazing. If you can only imagine what the view from that porch is right there. Unobstructed to the lake. Here is this little second side road. There are a few that are for sale right here right now. Here is the site of Gary and Kathy. They have been some of the nicest people here. We're just renting here, but they have taken us out on their pontoon boat. They have uh, let us borrow their propane tank so we could have the fire pit going. Just so nice. Talk to us every time they see us. So, and that's like kind of how everybody is here. There's another spot down here that's on the lake. This guy's a retired NHL player. Super nice. And here comes Lloyd and Hannah. Say hey, Lloyd. <laughs> and as we started this video off and we were looking up towards the resort, this is the backside of those first uh, RVs. You can see here, down here is the, is the patios and the decks that we could see from the dock on the other side. And now we're back, we've walked the whole place. <laughs> 